Welcome back guys, I'm Zell, and today we're taking a quick look at Kershaw's Pico. <laughs> Alright guys, the Pico is a Les George design, and it shows just about everywhere. Very ergonomic knife, clean lines. It is aluminum and stainless, so it is a pretty heavy little guy at about 4.22 ounces. And we do have, on the outside of it though, we have a well-done decorative pivot. That pivot is decorative, but it also has a deep enough recess there that you can get a Torx bit in there and not strip it out. Same with our body screws. Both of those have nice, deep uh, recesses. And we have a huge lanyard hole down here at the end. Uh, for this size of a knife. The pocket clip is deep carry tip up left or right and of course it is a frame lock. Notice here we have captured our pivot which is rather nice. Makes it nice and smooth and we're also running on an internal stop pin. You can see that pin right there. Our blade shape is our standard drop point and we got a swedge cut up here with stone washed uh, grinds and uh, satin finished flats. It is hollow ground with a blade of about 2.8 inches long so this little guy is legal just about everywhere and our edge length is about 2.65 with a stock thickness of 0.105 so 105 thousandths makes it a nice little slicer. Now it does weigh 4.22 ounces for, so for its size it is rather chubby. And a uh, quick comparison, we've got a Spyderco Delica here, and a little ridiculous, but we'll put a Rat Model 1 in here with us with it. So it is a very small knife. Our pivot is standard Kershaw pivot. I do believe it has phosphor bronze bushings. I haven't had it apart, but that's what I can see down in there. And our lock mechanism is a frame lock. If you want to know more about that, and you should if you're considering buying one of those, watch the full review. There's more information there. And hardware quality across the board is a win for Kershaw. Considering some of the knives I got earlier in the year from them, the last two, the Pico and I forget what the, the Todd Rexford, whatever it was, are miles ahead of some of the ones I got earlier in the year. You know, several of those you guys didn't even see because they're broke and sitting on the desk behind me waiting to go back to Kershaw. And ergonomics? Well, it's less George. It's small, but there's just enough to fit your hand and jumping right through here, just enough to make it useful. Get a hold of it however you need to. Uh, it's just a fairly ergonomic little knife. Does a good job. Our opening method, of course, is the flipper tab. It's got a little bit of jimping on it, and it's speed safe, so it's assisted. Push on the flipper tab, and knife opens up nice and quickly and locks up solid. Like I said on that lockup, you're probably going to want to watch the full review. There's a little more info you should have there before you buy one of these things. And, guys, I really appreciate you stopping by to hang out with me and talk knives for a couple minutes. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.